Today we're going to show you how to use Microsoft Excel to calculate the Shannon Weiner Diversity Index values for biodiversity in order to compare two ecosystems, the native prairie and the improved pasture. Although we don't have the equation shown here, we've established this chart in order to help us work the equation and eventually add the final values in the column here to get our Shannon Weiner Diversity Index values for each ecosystem to compare them to find out which is actually more biodiverse. So we begin here uh, by listing our species found in the native prairie. Assigning each species a species identifier code, 1 through 7, and then our number of individuals, or NI, is shown here. And this would be what we collected in the field, or what we could have collected in the field. So the first thing we need to do is find out our total number of captures. So anytime you want Excel to calculate something for you, you first start with equals. And in this case, the function we want is sum. So we type sum. And you can see a list of other functions came up here. If you were looking for a function and you didn't know it off the top of your head, you could use Microsoft Help Functions to help you find out which function you were looking for. So equals sum, open our parentheses, Highlight the information we want to sum, close our parentheses, and hit enter. And you can see we have 41 total individuals in the native prairie. Now the great thing about using Excel to do this is if we were to come back at a later time and reevaluate the native prairie, but actually found 10 hispid pocket mice here, we could just enter our value 10 and you can see the, VAT, the total number of individuals automatically updated here below to 51. So let's go ahead, change that back to zero, and leaves us with 41. So let's calculate the relative abundance, or PI. This is basically what percentage of the individuals are of a particular species. So again, we'll start with equals. We'll take our number of individuals in a particular species, in this case, nine individuals, uh, nine hispid cotton rats. So we click the cell here, and you can see it came up as C6. Now, depending upon how you entered your information to begin with into Excel, your information may not actually be in C6. So C6 divided by 41. Now, in a moment, we're going to copy this equation down into the rest of the column. When we do so, Excel knows to automatically move from C6 to C7 to C8 and so on. Likewise, it will automatically move from C14 to C15 to C16. However, we don't want Excel to move down from 41, so we have to tell it to freeze on 41. The way we do that is we use a dollar sign in between the C and the 14, which tells it to freeze on that cell. So now we hit enter and we copy our equation down by clicking in the bottom right hand corner of the cell and dragging that equation down. And all of those calculations are done for us. So the next one is the natural log of the relative abundance. So we start with equal, ln, the natural log in this case, open our parentheses, go over here and select our value for relative abundance, which in this case is in D6, close our parentheses, hit enter, and we can again copy that value down. Now, it's not really, we don't really have a lot of data here, but in some studies you would have hundreds of species, and so being able to copy that equation down would save you quite a bit of time. And finally, we want to take our relative abundance times our natural log of the relative abundance. So again, equals, because we want to tell Excel to calculate something. We select our value for relative abundance, multiply, which is the asterisk sign, our natural log of relative abundance here, hit enter, and copy our equation down. Now, you can see we have 
some errors here. This is because we tried to take the natural log of zero, which is impossible. So recognizing that, we can just manually hit enter a zero, and there we go. Now, our final step is to sum the values to get our Shannon Weiner diversity index values. So we want to hit equals sum. Open our parenthesis. Highlight our information. Close parenthesis and enter. Oh, now if you look at this, is it really possible to have a negative value for biodiversity? No. We forgot a critical part of our equation. Shannon Weiner's diversity index formula tells us to take the opposite of the sum of the relative abundance times the natural log of the relative abundance. So we go up here, and all we do is have to enter a negative sign in front of sum, which essentially multiplies by a negative to a negative, which becomes positive. So our Shannon Weiner diversity index value is 1.567 and so on. So this quantifies our biodiversity for our natural prairie. Now, you can watch as I do the same equations for the improved pasture. Obviously, we've made a mistake here, and I see it. Put the dollar sign in the wrong place. Let's change that. There we go. Much better. Okay, now we have two values for Shannon Weiner Diversity Index, and we can see the larger number is 1.567 for the native prairie. So we will conclude in this case that the native prairie was more biodiverse. Now, if you would like to practice this on your own, open up Excel and give it a whirl.